all these people just stressing out about what to wear. I mean, can we not just go back to black? Amy Winehouse said it herself. My favorite shirt. My favorite shirt. My favorite shoes. Yeah. Mm. And uh, these are the boots that I wear when I take my victims to be buried. Yeah. Not bad for five years. Hi guys and welcome back to my friendship in astrology series. Okay, so in today's video we are going to be discussing the 10 reasons for why you need a Scorpio friend. First and foremost, if you would like more information into how to interpret friendship within your own needle birth chart, then please be sure to check out my introduction video to friendship within astrology. And furthermore, please feel free to let us know in the comment section why you think Scorpio makes a great friend. All right, Scorpio, let's spread some platonic love your way. The number one reason for why you need a Scorpio friend, you might have already guessed it, but this is due to how loyal they are. They are probably the most loyal of all the signs. Yes, they are fixed and fixed signs are, no are known to be highly loyal, but Scorpios are deeply loyal due to how intensely they feel about their relationships, either within friendships or partnerships. They have this way of just bringing so much passion to whatever it is, whether that be towards a particular hobby they enjoy, to a certain topic that they are learning, or to even their favorite television show. So naturally, the same is gonna go into relationships. Every relationship they are in is kind of it's kind of a big deal. See, Scorpios don't feel a need to have any pointless affiliations. They keep their friends very close and their significant others even closer. And so they will devote much of their attention towards your friendship and really want to, want to make you feel of great importance. They basically place a very high demand on their thought, time and energy that they put into each relationship that they have because any relationship that they do pursue is one that they see as long-term. Seriously, if a Scorpio does not want to be friends with you, they will make it very obvious. And yes, while Scorpios are the masters of just, you know, getting their scissors and snippity snipping and cutting people out of their lives, most likely than not, if you do mean something to them, and keep messing up, they will give you many chances before the scissors come out. So yes, although their undying devotion lies with you, they have expectations from you as well, and they do understand ultimately that it's a two-way street. I like to think of Scorpio as the fates from Hercules. You know when they're cutting the mortal's thread of life? You know when they're standing like this? They've got their scissors, the scissors. But then Hercules just goes and blows their minds <laughs> because he becomes immortal and then they can't cut the thread. They're kind of like, the thread won't cut, it won't cut. When I think about that actually on a deeper symbolic level, maybe we become immortal when we learn to accept all the dark corners of ourselves because by accepting these corners, we sort of, release ourselves from pain. Besides, none of us truly die, but whilst we are in our mortal state, we do die. Ultimately, it's about realizing that, well, none of us are broken or damaged because underneath it all, right, we are all immortal. Second reason for why you need a Scorpio friend is because of how much there is to discover about them. Scorpios are no open books, let me tell ya. They are these huge cauldrons of mystery. Sure, this might annoy the more direct and open signs, 
but if others can learn to appreciate this about Scorpios and come to understand this, then just perhaps it would make for a great friendship. By being friends with a Scorpio, it will definitely have you on your toes and wanting to learn more and more about them. It's like peeling back layers of a volcano because with each layer you discover something new, but when you do get to the very core, you're completely surprised just by their emotional intensity. All that magma is just hiding underneath and it's just waiting to erupt at any given moment. But still, you do grow to understand that they have so much to offer, more than you could possibly imagine. So yes guys, if you are friends with a Scorpio, you get to unravel all of these things about them, all of their secrets. The third reason is because they will encourage you to never give up. Now this sort of ties in with their loyalty in that Scorpios are not the types of people to simply roll over and admit defeat or accept failure. And therefore, they will not accept it on your part either. If something does ever go wrong for you in your life, they will be the types of friends who can really pick you back up again. They will be like, what are you doing on the ground? What are you doing on the ground? Get up, dust yourself off. Come on, start over, let's go. They are all about transformation, right? And so they know how to shed their skin so that new skin can grow. They know how to cut those split ends from their hair so that new vibrant hair can grow. <laughs> this past weekend, I actually cut my hair a little bit. It was just a trim. Um, and I did it because I wanted it to signify a type of renewal. But ultimately, it's whenever there is an ending, there's always a beginning. So it's an ending of a cycle, but then the beginning of a new cycle. Scorpios are kind of like Ouroboros. Um, this is an ancient symbol of a, a serpent or a dragon that's like eating its own tail. The Swiss psychologist Carl Jung, you've probably heard of Carl Jung before, he saw the Ouroboros as an archetype represented with alchemy. And ultimately the Ouroboros represents the cycle of life, death and rebirth, leading to immortality as in the mighty phoenix and what is the higher octave or the higher octave symbol of scorpio well it's the phoenix so yes if you have a scorpio friend be prepared for some serious pap talks they will shake you until they break you in order to remake you and this leads me on to the fourth reason for why you need a Scorpio friend, and that is because of how determined they are. And this determination can be pretty contagious. I mean, you would have to be quite determined in order to never give up, right? Scorpios just know their place in the world, and they won't expect anything less from others. And this is because they earn respect, they earn trust, and they earn loyalty. They strongly believe that it's not about feeling deserving of these things or of anything really, but rather what are you willing to put in in order to take out? So by having a Scorpio friend, don't be surprised if you find yourself just feeling more motivated and driven than before. The fifth reason is because if there is one sign that sees through BS, it's the Scorpio. They can sniff out a liar a mile away. So if you're friends with a Scorpio, know that they will protect you in that regard. They will give you the honest truth about what they think and about what they think of other people as well. Therefore, they will require the same honesty right back. Please, no hiding things from your Scorpio friend. This will pretty much be impossible to do anyway because they will instinctively know if you are. Yes, they are great listeners, but they only want the honest truth. The sixth reason is because they are extremely bold. Being bold actually can uh, really help us stand up for ourselves and not let others take advantage of us. And it also helps us real get what we want. 
And it's these things and these qualities within a Scorpio that can really help inspire you to do the same. Especially learning the fine art, the wonderful way of how to say no. Scorpios know how to say no to others because they're not afraid to do so. If they strongly disagree with something or with someone, they will gladly say it. So I guess with that, you're gonna always know where you stand with your Scorpio friend. And they can also help you be bold and stand firm in your approach as well. The seventh reason for why you need a Scorpio friend, and that is because of how supportive they are. If you ever run into trouble, know that your Scorpio friend will be there to provide you with support and anything else that you need. This actually reminds me of my Scorpio brother. I have two Scorpio brothers, um, one of which I'm really quite close to, and he is just the most supportive person. Um, I remember at Christmas, I was just not in a very good way, and he's just there. Honestly, if, if, I, if I'm ever in like an emotional crisis, he's always there for me, and only enough when I do ever feel like that, I'm not afraid to go to him, because he's just like this rock who, yeah, he supports me in my moments of where I feel like my emotions are just running away with me. Yeah, I would say that we've bonded a lot more over the fact that I'm able to open up with him and he's also able to open up with me as well. This then leads me on to the eighth reason for why you need a Scorpio friend and that is because they know how and when to pay back a favour. So say you help your Scorpio friend out, maybe you lend them some cash, some money, right? They will remember it and they will pay you back. In fact, I think doing favours for a Scorpio is something they actually admire in others. It's like they see it as a form of respect, a kind of way to build trust with, with them maybe. Either way, they will respect you greatly if you ever do help them out, just as they are more than willing to help you out as a friend as well. The ninth reason for why you need a Scorpio friend is because they can find comfort in silence. You know how when you hang out with certain people, you might feel this sort of need to just talk to them? Like you have to keep the conversation going just for the sake of it? Well, Scorpios are cool with just sitting back and being silent from time to time. Yes, they can talk to you just about everything and anything, but they can also sit with you silently without saying a single word. This reminds me of, you know, Pulp Fiction, the movie, where Maya and Vincent are talking with one another, and Maya just turns to Vincent and says, that's when you know you find someone really special, when you can just shut up for a minute and comfortably enjoy the silence. That's Scorpio. And lastly guys, the 10th and final reason for why you need a Scorpio friend. And that is because they're not afraid to talk about the darker aspects of life. They are not afraid to go there when it comes to these things that others might find simply horrifying. I was actually out on Friday night, Friday that just passed, and I was talking to your Capricorn girl and she was telling me about her ghost experience. And she asked this girl next to her if she'd ever experienced ghosts before. But the girl just got up and walked away. She was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having this, I'm just going. She just, she just couldn't handle it, right? It seemed she couldn't handle it. Who knows, maybe she was a Scorpio and she was thinking, these amateurs, they have no idea. But really guys, no topic is ever too much for your Scorpio friend. So if you do want to talk about your biggest fears, you know, what they are and about your darkest sexual fantasies and about paranormal activity or about the mysteries of the universe, then you can surely speak with your Scorpio friend about it. Overall, by having a Scorpio friend, be prepared for mystery, for passion, for devotion and intense, deep talks. They will have you questioning yourself in more ways than you can imagine. And in this way, you will grow, enhance and transform just like they too understand this daunting, terrifying process.
I just want to say thank you so much to all the Scorpio sun, moons and risings that I have in my life, particularly my two Scorpio brothers. All right guys, so that concludes my video on the 10 reasons for why you need a Scorpio friend. Thank you kindly to my current subscribers for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. And furthermore, if you would like to see more videos from me, then go right ahead and click that subscribe button. And I will be back with uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, very very soon.